Are your headphones falling apart? Looking for better sound? Hey, what's up everyone? I'm Chris. And I'm Rick. And today we have MSI's Immerse GH50 gaming headphones that they sent over. Now it's been a while since we tested out a gaming headset, so I'm pretty excited to see what these can do. Yeah, me too. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and check the bell to get notified. And if you're going to grab a set for yourself, buying through our affiliate links below does help us out a bit here, so thanks for your support. Also, you can see some of our behind the scenes shots of our latest episodes and hear about our contest by keeping up with us on social media. Just give us a quick follow on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook, all at Techspin Review. And you can let us know what you'd like to see given away next by voting in our contest. At Techspin, we always bring you honest testing and opinions about new tech, so you can make informed decisions about new gear. All right, let's get to it, but first, a word for our affiliate. You're already tracked online, so do something about it and get data encrypted on public Wi-Fi too. Get 70% off NordVPN, just $349 a month, supporting six devices, unlimited bandwidth, super fast servers, a Chrome extension to secure browsing in seconds, and 24-7 support with 30-day money-back guarantee. Subscribing to NordVPN with our affiliate link in the description supports us, and you'll get a month free with the link or with our code TechspinTW. Take the next step and get protected today. MSI's Immerse GH50 gaming headset is going for roughly $80 US. In the UK, it's 80 pounds, 130 Celine Dion's, and 2390 NT in Taiwan at time of publication. Key features are the detachable unidirectional microphone, foldable headband, virtual 7.1 surround, and enhanced bass. The Immerse GH50s have 40 mm neodymium drivers. These units go to 109 decibels or so at 32 ohms with a fairly flat 20 to 20,000 hertz. Weighing in at 300 grams, it's 170 mm wide by 80 deep and 200 mm tall. MSI's gunmetal gray theme continues to this headset with a plastic mat covering the metal headband. The set has some flex with almost no noise. Pretty sturdy. Inside the box, you also get a carrying pouch, manual, and the detachable microphone. This headset has oval soft cups that will fit over ear and will fit fairly large ears. And the cups swivel in and out a bit at the joint, and also they fold up 90 degrees if you wish to get them out of the way. Everything connects to your device with a 2.2 meter braided cable, ending in a gold-plated USB 2.0 connector. And the metal headband is grabbed securely by the left and right sides, adjusting larger while still retaining a good fit. Taking the mic out, it's a 3.5mm stereo jack with a locking square base, so it will stay in place when you plug it in. The boom is quite stiff, probably the stiffest we've seen. This is a mic check for MSI's Immerse GH50 headphones. The microphone is what you're listening to right now. And this is a reading sample with no voice effects enabled. And it's an omnidirectional mic, so let's do a real-world talkover test with background sounds. And this is a sample with uh, some noise in the background. We have an air conditioner running, a fan pointed at me, and a blacklist playing on the TV behind me over there. The mic has a rated sensitivity of minus 36 decibels, plus or minus three, with 2.2 thousand ohm impedance, and a response of 100 to 10 thousand hertz. Next up, let's look at the inline controller. It's flat, kind of like a very thin, short box cutter. The volume knob is very smooth and adjusts the music smoothly from off to quiet to very loud. Mic mute is beside the virtual 7.1 surround button, both of which light up with white LEDs when on. Surround testing was performed with Dread's DTS Soundcheck, recorded in DTS HDMA format, really delivering precise 7.1 channel testing. Through the headphones, each location was well defined. The left and right rears can be a little bit difficult for virtualization, but the GH50s handled the rear channels decently and the vibration boost switch is in the middle, slide it up to turn it on. This gives an extra shake to your bass and the implementation here adds to the overall experience, not too much, which is good as you can leave it on during gameplay without it being distracting. Finally, adding to your gaming setup, the RGB is well done here. Good brightness with a side lit ring, bounces off the curved plastic, giving a nice inner accent and the surrounding ring glow effect. This is integrated with MSI's Mystic Light software. We did a quick update and it came right up. Lighting options are steady, color cycle, breathing, beat, and default. From what I can tell is just a really fast color cycle. In the gaming gear tab, it lists headset, 
Getting into that, we have sound option, which has volume controls on the first page, sample rate of playback, and an EQ section with a bunch of built-in equalizer presets. The Zier's effects button brings up surround options. You can choose music or movie mode. There's the room sizes for different spatialization, and the drop-down menu provides some different surround presets to bring some sounds out more than others. The mic tab at the top brings up mic option, where you can set volume or mute, and monitor your mic if you want. Sample rate can be adjusted, and Zier's effects gives you the magic voice option with monster, cartoon, man, and woman presets. So this is a reading sample with no voice effects enabled. We'll turn on monster. This is a reading sample with a monster effect enabled. <laughs> This is a reading sample with the cartoon effect enabled. Honk honk, zoing. This is a reading sample with a man effect enabled. We at the tippity top of the mountain. This is a reading sample with the woman effect enabled. Wow, I sound like this. That woman preset made me sound a bit like Kyle from South Park, don't you think? Shut up, fat ass. We're going over to Butter's house right now. Might be interesting while you stream with your friends or game on Twitch. Please take a moment to like this video, and if you like what you see, then please do subscribe and click the bell icon to get notified when I upload new content. So Rick, what do you think about the headset? Yeah, first impressions are great. I like this uh, gunmetal gray. It is a cool things. color, yeah, yeah, I like it. Um, I was really impressed actually with the uh, RGB, obviously, it's uh, front and foremost on the camera, but uh, it's well done. It has a, a kind of a side out which gives this nice kind of glow around the outsides of the ring and the dragon of course is really nice. So is this quote cool touch. Yeah, definitely. Um, the build's very solid too, like it doesn't feel light, doesn't feel like it's gonna break, which is very definitely. important, especially gaming headphones, you know, get those gamer rages. The one thing that I prefer in headphones is like, you want it to kind of feel like, give snug on your ears. And one thing that I see in other headphones, if it's able to move too much, even just by moving your head or things like that, I don't really like that. And these definitely don't have that. They really give you a nice, snug feel, they, they fit well in, at least on, on my head, and uh, that was the first thing I noticed when yeah, I put them on. That's true, because some, some um, headphones, you turn your head quickly and they'll like lose, you know, lose yeah, connection or whatever. Yeah. But these, um, we'll, we'll get into the uh, ear pads in a minute, but um, yeah, so, so far, build solid. Um, it's got a braided cord too, which is really nice. And Definitely. don't have to worry um, about it. It's the... long too, so, you know, yeah. you hook up to the back of your rig. The inline controller here is uh, nice and sturdy as well, and uh, it's got a couple of uh, features on it, including um, the volume control, uh, mic mute, a rumble feature, and the 7.1 surround sound. Uh, the volume control actually got me when I first plugged in this he uh, headset, there was no sound. And I was like, uh, am I doing it right? Like, it's just USB, right? I'm playing around for like two minutes. It's like, yeah. oh, there's a volume control and it's all the way down. So I turned it up and suddenly I can hear everything. It's like, see, like we do a tech show, but even I get still caught out on stuff like this. So it but it's all right, we got it, it we got it. <laughs> um, you were talking about the fit before. Yeah, so like I said, the fit, um, that's something that I, I'm pretty picky when I when it comes to headphones. I like a, like a snug fit, a solid feel. There's so many times where you put on headphones and like I said, it's like, it feels flimsy. Even if the sound is okay, I want like a good feel on my head when I'm putting on headphones. Yeah, yeah. And that was the first thing I noticed when I put these on. Speaking of the, the fit, the headband uh, at the top is really nice and soft. Um, mm -hmm. you, it's hard to notice, which is nice over like long gaming sessions. And uh, ear pads are over ear style, so they will go over the entire ear. You may need a fan or something, because over ear style, uh, depending on hot sweaty. countries, you might get a little sweaty. <laughs> but uh, you played for a little bit, no no issues with that. It was really comfortable. Yeah, Nice no. and loud. Very loud. Yeah. Very loud. When we first brought it, I put it at like half volume and you still hear it so well. It gives you that full like kind of surround sound, but this one you really get lost in the sound. Like instantly we put it on and uh, you really get immersed in the sound. It's I really like it. So you're it. saying it lives up to its name then? Yeah, exactly, exactly. No pun intended, it really works out. The the stereo sound reproduction, because I've, I've used a lot of headphones for DJing and other stuff, the, the reproduction for stereo sound was excellent. It was very good. Uh, rich, rich sound, uh, more of a flat response, which is good, I like that. And um, what was I gonna say? 
uh, yeah, they're quite loud. Uh, Max is actually a little bit too loud for me, and mm. I, I'm, you know, I've been in loud clubs before, so <laughs> I was like just a little bit. But I like the, having that ability to choose. It's like maybe I want to listen to this loud, or what if your source movie or something is really, really quiet? You can turn it up for that bit. So yeah. I, I like having that. Let's get on to the mic. It's stiff, you move it into that position. The good thing is, is that even if you bump it, it's gonna stay in that position. I like it because uh, if I knocked it or something like that, it's still where I want it to be. Exactly. And this mic should be about a finger's uh, width from your mouth, like really, really close for the best pickup. It doesn't turn at all because it's got a, a typical mic jack, Yeah. but it has a square around it, so it's like a socket. It's, it sits in there and it won't turn, which is nice. That being said, I still held it while I moved it because if you're like wrench on it, yeah, maybe it's okay. You need to be careful with I it. I just got it, you know, want to yeah. be careful, you know? Exactly. <laughs> but I, I it's stiff so having an extra like grab on it while you position the mic is probably advisable for this one. Yeah. The software gives you lots of options like uh, equalizer, smart volume, surround, dynamic bass, uh, the magic voice that we just mentioned and, and some more stuff. Um, the only issue was some of the boxes turned red when clicked and other boxes didn't turn red but when you move the mouse off of them they then they turned red so it was kind of yeah you know it's just uh, consistency in software that's a point we'll bring up with the MSI. So MSI's Immerse GH50 has all the features that you care about, the number one being a loud, great, flat sound, all coming in at about 80 bucks US. These 40 mil drivers sure deliver the sound, even being a little too loud for me with the club mastered music, which we rarely find in gaming headsets. Normally game sounds can sometimes be a little low, so having this extra headroom is a great and real bonus for range. Padding on the headset is soft and supple. The over-ear cups really provide the right amount of support while keeping the headset firmly on your head and the top band has some give in the padding. A good balance of comfort and snugness, and not too heavy at 300 grams, the swivel and fold give some options to suit your listening style. Mic quality was decent, as you heard earlier, just have the mic a little closer to maximize the clarity that's being picked up. We like the detachable feature, and that the socket keeps the boom arm from turning, and once you carefully bend it into position, it will stay there. We'd recommend bending it into shape first, then attaching it to minimize stress on the 3.5 millimeter plug and maximize your headset life. Virtual 7.1 surround is very good with nice separation between the different positions. Of course, during frantic gaming, loud sounds do wash away the positioning virtualization, normal for any headset, as software creates a simulated 7.1 sound field with just two speakers. Still, this headset performed very well. In software, I wanted to bring up the room size option we listened very closely, but it didn't appear to change much for the surround audio. Uh, perhaps we needed it on a certain mode, but as far as we could tell, the change was very subtle, if not unnoticeable. It didn't diminish from the excellent surround we heard though. The RGB coming through MSI's Dragon looks great with good brightness, and the interior ring reflects off the rounded outer area of the plastic shell, giving a halo effect and making the whole RGB effect bigger. So this is well designed. Last but not least for the inline controller, buttons and volume react well, and it fits hands, uh, pretty well too, in our subjective opinion. Construction is great, very sturdy, although I think the positioning of the buttons in hand could be even better. If they swap the two face buttons to the top, you could have them and the side volume as a one, two, three uh, for your thumb. And it depends on your play style, how often you would want to hit the mic mute on your controller, and whether or not you use a magnet or tack your controller down as the top of the inline points towards the headset. I'm really interested now to know, do any pro gamers out there like to tack down their inline controller? And should it be top towards the headset or top towards the PC? Let me know your setup and thoughts in the comments. If you're looking for a great sounding pair of headphones for gaming, the MSI Immerse GH50 is a sturdy set with RGB, a bit of rumble, and easy to use surround capabilities. And if this MSI headset is for you, using our affiliate links down below supports us here with no extra cost to you. And don't forget to give us a quick follow on social media at Techspin Review on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter to get notified of new contests and episodes as we continue our focus on gaming peripherals to see how they perform. So you got a great pair of headphones you wanna share? Which ones are you using right now? And how important is surround functionality to you? What's your go-to set? Join the discussion in the comments. Please do hit that thumbs up button if you like this video or tell us how we can improve for next time. To see more videos like this, please do subscribe for new content and be sure to click that bell icon to get notified when we put up a new video. We like to check the comments and we try to respond to most, so if you have a question or if we miss something, then please do tell us down below. And let us know what you'd like to see next. 
We really appreciate you watching this far. Thanks for your time, and we'll see you on the next. Bye for now. Soft cups that fit over ear and will fit far fairly large ears. Again, boom.